Civil War is the newest film from Alex Garland. It's his return to screen after men kind of bombed the box office, both financially and critically, a few years back. Uh, and my short review for this one is that it's fine. It's a movie. It exists. I think people are putting genuinely way too much energy and emphasis in this film because I guarantee you that this is one of those films that's getting talked about so openly and honestly and really just like aggressively people are saying oh my gosh it's so good you have to go see this it premiered at south by southwest and it got incredible fanfare and the film itself does not live up to that fanfare um, i can see why people could kind of love it for certain reasons but also there's some glaring plot issues here that i'm just like this is nowhere close to being a masterpiece. Why are you framing it as such? I've been interested in this film for a while in the development stage just because when I heard the premise and heard Alex Garland was attached to direct it, I was thinking to myself, this is a very unique thing. I wonder how Alex Garland's gonna handle telling something so complex in such a honest and open way. And I can honestly say that the direction he goes with this premise here is something that I didn't expect, but it works in the end. I think it definitely feels natural and realistic and definitely feels grounded. It feels like something that could potentially happen. It doesn't feel like most other post-apocalyptic like war movies like this where people are like fighting each other. This feels genuinely like it could happen. The reactions and interactions between characters feels very grounded. They're very turmoil filled. Uh, people are like stressing out, but they also have some of their humanity left instead of like other films films where it's like people are full-blown psycho crazy it's definitely feels like this is like not too far off in the future that this is something that could genuinely happen and I think that makes it more realistic and grounded and also more horrifying and terrifying at times when you witness the violence on display here speaking of violence it is very graphic in your face and also very heart-wrenching it's very hard to look at the screen at times there's a few instances of on-screen violence here that are very visceral and raw and just aching and it's very very cool to see Alex Garland handle that in a way that it feels very grounded and also very empathetic towards the characters in the situation they find themselves in. Kristen Dunst and Wagner Mora do phenomenal work. They play off each other so naturally. It feels grounded and honest. Their characters are journalists and they're trying to like document this war going on all across the United States. It's very interesting to see as someone who's taken journalism classes and knows about the ethics and all that of journalism and I've learned all the stuff they're talking about in this film in relation to journalism. It's interesting to see characters actually portray that in popular media. Media. I've never really seen a film like this where it treats journalism as this kind of broad subject matter that people need to know about and that's a necessity. Um, in my journalism class, my professor always said journalism is a very like necessary thing for a society to function. And here it's very interesting to see that kind of like topic and subject matter explored in a way that feels very, I don't know, realistic and also very... Um, well explored in the way that it hasn't been explored by other films in the past. The cinematography is gorgeous. I don't know what focal length some of the shots were, but it was very gorgeous how in focus some different scenes were because it made for a blended mix of in focus and out of focus in a way that feels like a moving painting at times. The direction is also incredibly well done. Alex Garland is here. He's present. He's ready to go. I know he's threatening to quit filmmaking apparently after this film, but I really hope he doesn't because Alex Garland is such a strong filmmaker from a visual standpoint and thematic standpoint. I really hope he makes more films after this because this is just a reminder of how much this man does and how awesome this man does at everything he does. Kaylee Spaney and Stephen McKinley Henderson do uh, phenomenal work here as the side characters. They're not really... I don't know. I don't want to say not important to the plot, but they kind of are on the sidelines for most of this. Um, but I do think that their performances overall were very fun. Their characters were very grounded and you grew to care about them a lot, especially Kaylee Spaney. Her acting here is very, very good work. And I really hope I see her more things going forward because she is such a talented actress. The effects work here also feels very epic and expensive, which is pretty impressive considering this film's budget. Um, I know it's like an A24 film. I know they usually release more indie stuff and this definitely does feel at times more indie because it's not directing like big names into the cast or anything and it's not like most the most impressive effects work you've ever seen but for what it's trying to do as a war movie that's on a budget it's very very convincing there's a lot of explosions a lot of different like practical effects and also cgi that's blended seamlessly in posts you don't really notice anything jarring or out of place it all feels very natural very realistic the sound design is also very very scary there are a few times in this film i'm not going to spoil them of course because that would be no fun whatsoever and you deserve to be scared by them but there's a few times where there's sudden loud noises that come out of nowhere and it very um it's very in your face makes you jump a lot makes it very visceral and like you're there now as i mentioned this film is very very good but there's some things that hold it back um and we're gonna get to those right now the soundtrack here 
is interesting because there's times when the soundtrack works phenomenally well, but there's also times when there's an emotional scene happening on screen and the film has a music choice go along with it that's just not really a good blend. Like it feels jarring and out of place at times. It also doesn't explain the logistics of this world in depth. It starts off, tries to give you like a crash course understanding of the politics of this world, but it doesn't really go too in depth. And that kind of makes the film struggle for me because I was spending a lot of this, like most audience members, I saw this with a few of my friends, they were saying the same things afterwards. They don't really explain what the factions are, what the war is, what the world looks like with the United States now at war. Everything's kind of left up to interpretation. And I get that Alex Garland wants to look at this from like a neutral political side. And I understand that and I respect that. And I think that's a benefit of this film. But I do think that they could have explained it a little bit more, could have gone a little bit more in depth and really explained what was going on in this world because it was very, very hard to follow. It genuinely leaves you with more questions than answers, which is my main problem with this. For everything it does correctly, the biggest drag down of this is that there are so many questions that are left unanswered. Chief among them, in my notes I wrote down, they never explain why the press is so important and necessary to this world. You see the characters that are journalists protected by these armies throughout the course of the runtime of the film, but it never explains like why are they allowed to be protected? Why are they allowed to be in these war zones capturing footage. The ending is way too abrupt, uh, just kind of ends uh, not in a satisfying way. Uh, the music score is very mediocre, um, but for all that being said, the action set pieces are solid, phenomenal performances all across the board, impressive filmmaking just doesn't reach the heights it needs to in order to be a phenomenal film. That's why I'm giving Civil War a 77 out of 100. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this review. Let me know what you guys think of Civil War, which is releasing in theaters this Friday. Uh, let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. As always, like the video, subscribe, and turn on the push notifications to be notified whenever a new video drops on this channel. With that being said, this is Mitchell signing off. Peace out.